Tonight in your health news, most of us need to go to the doctor at some point in time, so it's important to choose a doctor that's right for you. So how do you find the right one for your specific needs? With me now, as he is every Tuesday, Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD with the key questions to ask and the tools available to make that choice a little bit easier. Thanks for being here, Dr. G. Great to be here, Kathleen. Well, it's open enrollment time for us here at Fox 5, so this really hits home. A lot of people have to pick doctors when they do change jobs or health insurance, so how do you suggest we go about finding a primary care doctor that works for us? You know, it's not as easy as you would think. First of all, if you have medical insurance, which I'm sure every all of you have, you have to look at the providers that the insurance company allows you to do. The next thing is to find a primary care physician. That's the real quarterback of your team. That's the doctor that's going to send you to a specialist if you need to go to a specialist. But how do you find that doctor? The most important way or the best way is to actually talk to your friends and if and see what your friends have to say. And then when you find that primary care physician, ask his or her advice. And what are the key questions that you should be asking that physician when you have that first face-to-face -face meeting? The most important questions, I think, are are you board certified, which means you're certified by the National Board of Medical Examiners to be a specialist in that field, including primary care. Also, if you have any doubts, you go to the California Medical Board's website and they can show you if the physician has had any reprimands or any problems with their certification. And so those are really key. And then finally, we all tend to go on the internet whether it's good or bad. And we go to uh, many different websites on the uh, internet to find out if your doctors are really good or not. Now, Yelp is one of the more commonly used uh, <coughs> internet sites. And what Yelp will tell you is it'll give you reviews of different um, patients that have seen uh, the doctor. Also, there's other ones like Real Self or Google Rankings or Health Grades or Zelia. So there's a number of different sites. Now, the one thing as a physician that I need to warn you of is sometimes, like I had a patient that gave a Yelp review about me. And they said, you know, Dr. Goldman's a great doctor. His office was wonderful. The procedure was great. But you know, the parking sucked. And so they gave me a three-star review. Now, I don't know the building. It's like I have nothing to do with the parking. So you have to read the reviews. Another thing is when my daughter moved to Los Angeles and got pregnant and needed to find an obstetrician, she didn't know anyone in Los Angeles. So what did she do? She went to all of the websites. She examined each of the doctors and that's how she was able to choose a, an obstetrician for her. And Dr. G, real quickly, when you're talking about Yelp reviews, there's some different um, terminology that comes up like top doctors, super doctors, doctor's choice. What do those really mean? You know, they may mean actually nothing. Some of the times, or many times, you can actually purchase those top doctor awards. And many of those awards are actually not awards. They're basically popularity contests. Like some oh, physicians will vote for other physicians, and some people will ask friends and family to vote for you. So be very careful about the awards. All right, that is good to know. Some important tips, Dr. G, and timely as always. Thank you so much. Good to be here.